ओम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम ओम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम सैल्यूटेशन टू परम पूज्य पप्पा सैल्यूटेशन टू परम पूज्य माता जी सैल्यूटेशन टू परम पूज्य स्वामी जी सैल्यूटेशन टू ऑल महात्मा brothers and sisters we are all assembled here to observe the 58 ma samadhi day of our param puja bhava today morning we shared some thoughts about puja mata ji's adesh at the time of uh, the tithi day in 1964 Papa dropped the body on 25th July 1963. On the first Tithi day, Mother Ji said there will be no other uh, functions except devotee will individually and collectively try to do as much Ramana as possible, and also pray from the bottom of the heart to the indwelling reality. Mm -hmm. to reveal himself in our mind that means even the ram nam is being chanted because of the blessings because of the grace of papa within when we start knowing it we will slowly be able to stretch that he is behind our thoughts words and deeds and mother ji also wanted it should not be limited to him as a mother ji lay alone If we have to chant, none of us are in a position to chant throughout the waking time. So whenever we chant, we will try to bring the dimension. If the mind has to cooperate with us in bringing the God dimension behind every act, some discipline is necessary. No? But it will be like you know, two compartments. At the time of chanting, we would like to read our uh, Sanskrit level, and rest of the time we are under the clutches of Rajasik and Lamas. In Guru Mataji's days, they took to this exclusive chanting with the right perspective. Papa had said, even while he was chanting, at the subconscious level, he was aware that it is garbage. We all feel, you know, we have to go there by 11:30. The Ram Nam session starts, and we say we are chanting. We feel we are chanting. It's all right. But in order that we try to bring in that it is He who is making us to chant, that discipline from our part is necessary. And Papa throughout is uh, nearly 40 years of his spiritual life. So he dropped the body in '79. He took to this intense spiritual life in 1938 or nine, and in 19 when he was 38 or 39. So we can say roughly 40 years. The first 10 years, he himself has explained about the inner life, and afterwards he has been answering to questions. Answering to doubts of these devotees. Every year on this day, devotees all over India and abroad try to collectively or individually chant the holy name and read a few words of the Rupa's teachings. Till yesterday, we have been telling him, "Maru is a Samadhi, Maru is Samadhi." It has had a deep impact on our spiritual journey and our work today. We are not full timers. It is absolutely necessary. This periodic evaluation, 
to however this year a deep prompting is felt not to let this day go like the earlier ones so let us check whether this occasion has kindled any fresh awakening this is very important any fresh awakening and new aspirations on a similar occasion in British age when they were observing the first Tithi day of Gurudev Swami Shivanji Maharaj it is a very thought provoking article that says there is no fresh inspiration or awakening it has become only a mechanical routine which we observe year after year having all the outer frills but empty of content inside it becomes automatic repetitive it takes us no further no higher then the very purpose of the day has been lost so let us make a firm resolve that the 58 maha samadhi day should be a different one in the sense that it should be instrumental in giving a deeper thrust to your sadhana How do we do that? Each one has to be like. Each one is unique. Each one's path is unique. We have been blessed to associate with the past thoughts for the last so many decades. Now we are checking up. To some extent, we have been able to imbibe or assimilate. But has it ultimately helped us to what? As Mother Ji said, you know, to feel the presence of Him inside. Hmm. There are so many, so many questions that are welling up. A few have been selected for this today. Samadhi has been defined as the withdrawal of the mind from the created world into the uncreated void. This particular quotation comes from some. Some Mahatma has said, but why we remember this? You know, Papa in his first book, in Quest of God, in the first chapter, he brings great void. He introduces God, the invading and all-pervading reality, as the great void. So that we will do some thinking about, it. and that itself is sufficient. So while we chant, you know, suppose we try, please make me aware of the void, the inner void as well as the outer void, which is your expression, something like that. The understanding of the great void automatically gave us the required foothold for withdrawing the mind from the created world. Have we ever tried to become aware of the void in our lives so far? Right from the moment we get up till we retire to bed, there would have been empty number of past moments, but we would not have applied this. In between lines, in between sound, in between movements, in between changes, there is a pause. There is a pause. There is a pause. So we are asking ourselves: Have we become aware? Shall we try to become aware? Then he again goes back to his life. The intensity of the sadhana undertaken by Papa from 1920 onwards is a perennial source of inspiration to all aspects. He has elaborately discussed about this in At the Feet of God, in Quest of God, in the Vision of God. He he brought out four books. In quest of God, at the feet of God, in the vision of God, worldly God. Step by step by step, expansion. And at the feet of God, it is purely an interactive session. He was conversing with God. He was placing before the Almighty, the sense of individuality was placing before the Atman inside. And he was becoming aware of the answers also. Is there something for all of us to 
deeply. How do I reach that stage? Have you been able to gauge where we stand in our sadhana? Even if it is just 5% or 10% on the earth, Madhiti. Spirituality stands for expansion from individual to universal. Prior to 27th December 1922, Papa was identifying with a small family. Then he could transcend and become he could expand to such an extent that the entire world became his family. So expansion, he gives us the expansion from me to we, we to him. To what extent have we been able to expand our love circle? Starting with our own family, expanding to those who God made us to come in contact with. Have you been able to give love and respect to at least some of the creations? Animate and inanimate. Not merely individuals. Expansion includes everything. Even the chair, even the mic. Chara chara. Animate and inanimate. Have you been able to give some thought to the fact that nothing is irrelevant, nothing is insignificant, nothing is unimportant. Nobody is irrelevant, nobody is insignificant, nobody is unimportant. It's a tall order, it's difficult for us to. But have we applied 5%, 10%? Another point, time and again we have been told by Papa to harmoniously blend Bhakti and Jnana in our sadhana. Specifically, he has mentioned, not merely bhakti, not merely sadhana. Virat Prabhupada's devotion to the Lord was the quintessence of this plan. He termed it as paravakti. Not limited to one particular deity or one particular form, but at the same time, he was able to experience the presence of the Almighty in every creation. To achieve this non-dual aspect, Advaita aspect, to achieve this, the Advaita aspect was also heady. He pointed out a beautiful word called impersonal person. To what extent have you been able to translate this in our life? Bhakti and jnana. Pure jnana means it might be dry. You know? Bhakti normally, you know, emotional evolution. But when we combine these two, we are aware of the goal to be scaled. At the same time, he is within us and we are his devotees. Bhakti means, you know, Bhakta and Bhagavan. The duality is there. So there was a harmonious blend in Papa. Next. So, though Virat Papa became one with the law, the indwelling and all pervading reality, still he was able to maintain a mysterious relationship with him, which is explicit in the hard pouring in the cave, as mentioned in King Best of God. If you go through the hard pouring, you will find that. Nobody else. At times you will say, Oh Ram, then he says, Ram Das is to put Ram Das in his line. Suddenly he will say, oh Ramdas, if you read, reread, 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 you will find how he was able to maintain this mysterious relationship. Just like when we learn cycling, you know, the moment we get the baron, we will never lose it. He was able to commune, commune with him so that the baron remained with him. In one of his writings, he said, 
the previous day the communion was going on nowadays it is not because he is there always he is guiding he is leading he is prompting he is motivating he is articulating that stage to what direction have you been able to carry this by regular communion this teaches us that though the lord and devotee become one at the highest level the devotee can still maintain a blissful relationship with the lord through regular communion another point total reliance on god was the mainstay of your purpose life there was not an incident in which he did not see the workings of the divine in our case Have we made an earnest effort to bring in the God dimension as much as possible, even in a few cases? Look that he was not naming or labeling it as positive or negative. Virat Papa had absolute faith in the holy and all-powerful Ramana. When he chanted the name, he was also well grounded. in the understanding that the chanting of the name itself was made possible because of the indwelling spirit he was also aware that the name symbolized to the indwelling reality which had manifested as all beings creatures and things in the universe although we have been chanting the divine name with all faith and devotion for the past few decades and also deriving some joy from it have we checked as to what happens to us after the chanting session is over is there any tangible sign of progress in becoming aware of the lord's presence and is it reflected in our daily lives immediately after that what happened to him we all know that so we are praying to him you gave us some joy while chanting But it has not altered the course of my life. I say, you are waking for a fresh aspiration. There could be so many such questions which could arise in our heart only when we are dead earnest in our quest. If we try to get answers to any or some of the above and make resolves to give up to them, we will then feel that we have truly observed the Mahasamadhi day. So deep thinking huh? and deep resolves. May he who prompted us to think on these lines enable us to derive the maximum benefit from this journey. Because we are not full timers. If we are full timers, nothing else is needed. When Papa took up, he was a full timer. Mata Ji took up because full time. In our days, along with the age of preoccupation, God has given. We have also included Ramana. We have also included Sasan. We have also included Bajans. And the rest of the time, you know, there seems to be a disconnect between what we are following and what we want to achieve. That is why so many stress, so many tension, so many things happen in our life. We feel, you know. Our cravings, our type, desires, our infatuation, everything becomes a blockade. So we are praying to Papa now. You have touched and kindled all these vital aspects in our mind. Kindly enable us to move fast. Time is running out. Somehow you make us feel your presence fast. Enough is enough. So let this prayer be spread large in our mind. And by His grace, let us move fast. Hari Om. Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Om that our uh, love circle expands subservience to god becomes more and more deeply printed 
our faith in him gets more and more solidified which mataji had prescribed way is prayer it should also not pass on like a fruit like a ritual every word every word in the prayer you know it is connecting us to the divine within and without so with that background we will repeat prayer for world peace adorable presence thou who art within and without above and below and all around thou who art interpenetrating the very cells of our being thou who art the eye of our eyes ear of our ears heart of our hearts mind of our minds breath of our breaths the life of our lives and the soul of our souls bless us dear god to be aware of thy presence now we can hear this is all that we ask of thee may all of us be aware of thy presence in the east and the west north and the south may peace and good will abide among individuals as well as communities and nations this is our earnest prayer may peace be unto all om tat sat om om shri ram jay ram jay jay ram probably we feel you know mata ji would have had at this Okay, my Lord, prayer. One day, you know, we will start seriously thinking. Every day, I am telling, now and here, now and here, now and here. What is the step I have taken? Now and here, very important. Word. To be blessed, dear God, to be aware of Thy presence. Now and here. Now we move to universal prayer. No need to repeat. But if you travel with the team. it will give us definitely a push in our spiritual journey o lord of the universe o creator protector and destroyer of the world i come in all humility to thy holy feet and surrender myself entirely to thee every time we read you know we feel we don't do that we are not entirely a surrender you know i come in all humility to thy holy feet and surrender myself entirely to thee we are not but we are praying now make me to do that still the me and mine is there with all of us be to bless me ever with thy remembrance o merciful divine master give me strength purity and peace the word absolute power omnipotent omniscient the word seated in the hearts of all the word all purity all goodness all love the word the veritable ocean of peace and bliss the word the lover of thy devotees refuge of their bliss redeemer and savior of those who resign themselves to thee Make me dedicate my life to Thee and to Thy service. By Thy grace, may peace and joy always dwell in my heart. The Word, Mother, Master, Friend, and Lord to me, accept me as Thy child and servant. Grant me power to love Thee with all my heart. And whatever I do. Be a fitting offering at thy holy feet. Make me pure in thought, word, and deed. I lay my mind at thy feet. Fill it always with thy remembrance. See the wording. I lay my mind at thy feet. Fill it always with thy remembrance. Let thy glorious light illumine my heart. O sustainer of the world. O kind and compassionate Lord, God of Gods, give me the divine vision, so that I may behold Thee in all as all. 
make me ever feel they constant fellowship. May my life be guided and controlled by thee. Thy presence be ever with me, in me, and everywhere around me. I beg of thee. I prostrate before thee. Hearken to this heartfelt prayer of mine. Make me thine and thine only forever and ever. Make me thine and thine only forever and ever. Make me thine and thine only forever and ever. Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai.
Thank you. 